Hello everyone, my name is Danielle and I'm here to talk about some of my favorite herbs that I use in my day-to-day -day witchcraft practices. Herbs are one of my favorite tools to use in spellcraft. Each has their own magical properties that can aid in spell work. Um, they can enhance home remedies. They can be the sole ingredient to many, many charms. So here are four of my favorites for any um, witch that's either intermediate or even just getting started. Um, all of these herbs can be used in many, many different ways. So the first one that we're going to be talking about is juniper, and that's this here. Juniper works as a fantastic protection plant. Its leaves or branches can be burned for purification, and its dried berries can even be eaten to protect the aura from outside influences. Juniper is a common ingredient for many protection spells as it shields from hexes, curses, and negative energy. It is typically a favorite for empathic workers, so if you consider your imp yourself empathic, this herb is for you. It also helps for people trying to open the door between realms. So like if meditation, burning a little bit of this, that will help that too. The next one we're going to be talking about is lavender. Lavender is typically a favorite among witches. It's an ace herb, as I like to call it. It can be used for many, many different reasons and is commonly used as a stand-in for other herbs and spells. Lavender is known for protection, love, meditation, and stress relief, so it really is depending on what energy is put into the spell. Even sprinkling a little in your shoes brings protection and good luck, so it's very, very versatile. Lavender oil can also be known to promote healing and soothing. All over, lavender is a very versatile herb and it can be used in teas, baths, candle magic, and so much more, so I definitely recommend this one to anyone starting out. The next herb we're gonna be talking about is a personal favorite of mine, and that is rose. Rose has that beautiful floral scent, and it has the properties of love and self-love, and can be used for a multitude of purposes. I personally work with the goddess Aphrodite for spell work, so having rose around is a must for me, and I pretty much include it in all of my spells, if not for the specific properties, but for an offering for the goddess. Rose can be used for love spells, self-love affirmation, and tinctures, as I mentioned, offerings. It's it's very, very versatile, and it's even known to help aid in divinational work. So if that's something you're interested in pursuing in witchcraft, rose is definitely a good herb to keep around. It can be used in baths, um, even to make facial toners as well. Lastly, we're going to be talking about these guys here, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a cleansing plant. It strips away negativity and its strong, fresh scent helps ward away evil and leaves purity in its place. One of my favorite uses of this plant is to place some in the bathroom while having a hot shower to aid in day-to-day -day cleansing of the self, aura, mind, and body. When eucalyptus branches are fresh, I have even braided the branches to make protection talismans for around the house. So it's very versatile and very potent. So overall, these are just four of my favorite and most used herbs. Each can be used for many, many purposes and lots of herbs and magical qualities have overlap. So if there's a spell that asks for a specific herb but you aren't finding it, um, it's difficult to locate, don't worry, there are substitutions out there. Just make sure that you're doing your research to find the appropriate one. There are many amazing herbal magic books out there. If you have any questions about certain herbs, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. These herbs are also available on our online store at yieldrockshop.com. So if you haven't checked us out, make sure to check the description where you'll find information and a link to lead you to that store. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a magical week.